the Man Show last season with its tinges of acid rock and psych rock, I wondered if Eddie Slaman was going to move on up to glam, which would be the next logical step in his musical evolution. I think he did with this show, but it's Saint Laurent glam, and he's doing it his way. I think he's talking to a very particular audience. I think he's going after a young rock music infused audience. Heavy referencing to the 70s. Fantastic styling, great use of color and print. It's just sexy rock and roll clothing that I think women are going to love buying. It's so beautiful because it has a simplicity to it and it has an elegance to it. I mean, you can go from a beautiful embroidered dress to a black suit. I just love what he's doing. He's taking the Saint Laurent ideology and he's putting his own little twist to it. I like that he puts a lot of uh, embroidery because I, I think for Saint Laurent you need a dress to go to the opera and be really sparkly. I mean that's my idea of Saint Laurent, all the lesage, really famous embroidery when he did the, the lustre of the maison. So I like when it's like really, really sparkly, not in a ready to wear way, in a really couture way. It's breathtaking and they are beautifully done. I mean, the amazing thing with Hetty's clothing is from a distance, it looks like everyday pieces, but when you get up close, the finishing and the details, the quality, the luxury are insane. Of course, the Spanish thing called me and those hats drove me absolutely crazy. And I love the lines. I love the lines of the legs. There's always this attitude that you feel in his clothes. And it's a strange thing to be able to, to nearly sell an attitude and he knows it very well. In this context, it's kind of unusual though, isn't it, to see that much very ornate couture style work shown with this sort of clubby attitude. It's quite a Saint Laurent combination, actually. Yeah, I think he puts again the smell of the tobacco in the Saint Laurent, which is really good because with all those years with different designers, it wasn't smelling of tobacco. It was smelling diptyque candle perfumes. It was very chic, very Mercer, very boutique hotel. And he has ripped off the boutique hotel thing. And now it's good, no? It's, that's, she's silly again.